positions of uh, you know an offense receiver, um, quarterback in the second year as a starter. Are the expectations higher now among your teammates, or what, what you expect to do this year? The standards always been high, regardless of how many years I've been a starter or wasn't a starter. I've always held myself to a, uh, a high standard because of the players that we have in the room. Um, the, the standard that the coaches set for us, the expectations that we have to meet as players, um, to play as an eagle. And so for me and, and I guess the rest of the locker room, we all play or try to achieve that high standard that is set early on once you step foot in this building. What do you make of Dillard's new physique? It's amazing. Dude's lean as hell. Yeah. Did he, um, did, now, were, were you working out with him in the offseason at all, or did you, or just since you guys have been back, and what has he done to, to get so toned? Uh, it sounds like an Andre Dillon question. I have no idea what he did in the off season. Um, but yeah, as as far as uh, you know, the time that we spent the last three weeks here, uh, you know, he's been putting in the hard yards um, and just really focusing on on, I guess, understanding his body and where his weaknesses are. And I think he's done a great job. It sounded based on what Howie said that they're going to keep Landon Dickerson at, at left guard, and Howie said that the combination of you and Landon, it's almost like Lane Johnson and Brandon Brooks. What's that synergy like between the two of you, and how do you see that progressing? First of all, that's a very high um, regard. So I'm really honored for that, that how he said that. But you know, I mean, you guys see Landon and I, and just our relationship that we have on the field and off the field. Um, you know, the carryover is is a lot, and uh, we have a good bromance going on. Um, our girls are always looking at us like, "What's going on here?" Uh, but yes, you know, I see that dude like my brother, and um, I'm kind of glad, um, you know, that, that we have that relationship to kind of just off the field and then when you're on the field you just want to play even harder and, and faster and make sure that you're listening in the huddle for the right plays and so yeah I think our, our synergy is is very high at the moment so Jordan you got to see some some family that you hadn't seen in, in a while this offseason right did that sort of bring home like how much has changed in your life over the past however many years yeah so I had my my two brothers here um my, my youngest brother and my, my best mate, who I hate calling my best mate, I just, uh, I've known him for so long that I just call him my brother too. Um, and yeah, just seeing them, um, having them here and, and being able to, to share my life here now and what I now call home, um, yeah, it was a big, big part for me to, to try and get them to understand my daily lifestyle, uh, the routines, because I didn't stop working out. Like I would wake up early just to get in, get my workout in. Uh, from like 8 a.m. To, to midday or 7 a.m. to 11, just to, so I could spend the rest of the day with them. And so, you know, they were very appreciative of, you know, seeing and I was trying to educate them on, you know, like why I haven't come home in the last two and a half years and COVID didn't help. But yeah, it was awesome just to have them here and reignite the fire for me because, you know, I haven't seen them in two and a half years. And when they came here, it was just like, okay, when they left, it lit the fire again. And so what, what were their takeaways from, from seeing you and seeing that up close? I think, I mean, the correct term we used back home, they were buzzing. Uh, they were just like in awe of everything. And you know, it was, I, I guess, I don't know how to explain it. To me, it's normal. Um, it's become part of my life now. And yeah, it might be a question you might have to ask them. Did you uh, keep your uh, thing on the bob? Costume? Nah, mate. Somewhere in the in the backstage, probably. I don't know. Back in California, somewhere. What was that uh, experience like, Jordan? I don't think we've spoken to you since. <coughs> you, 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 you. Oh, it was fun. Um, you know, we were out there filming for about two and a half, three weeks. Um, so it was it was a pretty fun uh, experience to kind of just you know, be on TV and and share my talents. Um, but the whole experience overall was was amazing. Uh, the people backstage that you don't really see, you know, besides the judges and, and the host, um, everyone backstage, the stagehands, uh, producers, um, even the choreographers, they were awesome. They just made the experience uh, so fun. And they're just so easy going. Did anyone else know you were doing that? I mean, what's <coughs> been the reaction from your teammates? Because I'm sure they were probably shocked if they didn't know. Yeah, no, no one knew. I kept it. Um, kept it, uh, what's it called, a secret. Uh, you know, we had to sign an NDA, so I didn't want to lose that money. <laughs> I didn't want to lose any money I was going to make from that. Um, and so it, it was cool to see everyone's reaction once it got released. 
because uh, they were definitely buzzing. Mm -hmm. How'd it come about? How'd you end up doing it? Uh, there is a Eagles fan who works um, as one of the helpers for the casting agent or casting producer, I guess. And he submitted me, um, and they were like, "Okay, cool, this guy can sing." So they reached out to my agency. <clears throat> this was during the the season, and I kind of like, "No, nah, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I've got to focus. I'm trying to play in the Super Bowl." Um, and then. I just told them I'll play it by ear. Um, if, if we're still playing in in February, and they can, can kick cans, you know. But if we're not, then you know uh, I'll see. Ask me again after we uh, we finish up. And yeah, sure enough, like a week later after we were done, I was in LA filming. What's the vibe around here this year versus last? It's amazing. I think we're just glad that there's no more COVID protocols and we can actually just yeah start creating that uh, that brotherhood here that we talk about all the time, playing for each other and just even the basketball hoop, competing in small games like that. So it's just amazing. It sounds like you and, and Landon hang out quite a bit outside <coughs> the building. What do you guys do? And do you think that there is a, a clear um, benefit to that when you get on the field? Um, I mean, if it's not Eden, we're, we're golfing. Uh, if it's not golfing, we're bowling. Uh, if it's not bowling, shoot, I don't know what else. We gotta. If anybody has any suggestions or what we should do, you know, let me know. But um, yeah, of course, the carryover is is I think important. What you do off the field and um, building that brother br brotherhood or brotherly love and uh, off the field, and you can carry it over on the field because you know you start to be, to to love that person, you know, as your brother. Because that's how I see everyone in my locker room. You know, I love them as a brother, and you know, when I play for my family, it makes me want to push harder and faster. And like, like I said before, you know, I just want to push it that extra limit so I can get stuff done. Who hits it, who hits it longer off the tee? Pardon? Who hits it longer off the tee? Oh, Landon for sure. Yeah, Landon's a really good golfer. He's really good. <laughs> I'm a little bigger. He's uh, yeah, you know, he's been playing longer. Um, you know, I'm not a big golfer. But yeah, you are. You are. I'm a big <laughs> the animal or the sport. The yeah, average. Uh, a few minutes ago, you said Philly is home now. Yeah. Um, football aside, how has the contract provided kind of a, a sense of stability for you? I mean, yeah. To to be honest, the contract has um, provided that sense of stability where you know I'm financially set. Um, but when I walk in this building, I have this attitude of I have no contract, and that my goal is to get better every day. You know, you guys, you guys ask me the same things, you get the same answers, and it's, that's how I see it. it. Doesn't matter what I placed on PFF last year. You know, if I'm not hitting the right assignments and plays, which I know because we watch it here with Stout, and Stout will never let me forget even plays from my rookie rookie year. You know. So that's the one thing that I love walking into this building, the sense of accountability. That it doesn't matter how hard or how much you get paid, you know, you, someone's going to hold you accountable. And, and I feel like I've adapted this attitude where I do hold myself, again, to that high standard that the coaches set, that I'm able to be accountable and, and look at the film and be honest with myself. That, yeah, you know, that was a, oh, see, I caught myself. I was about to swear. See, I've been working on it. I've been working on it. Um, it was, you know, I can tell when it's a bad technique and be honest. And again, Stat will let you know if it's a bad technique because he won't forget for the next week. One more, guys. Uh, Jordan, you, we do ask you that question all the time, but a lot of us have been here with you since you got here day one. Is it more difficult? Uh, does Stout help you when you have all this, you have the contract, you have the mass singer, you have the PFF numbers? Is it more difficult for you? Have you had to shift and focus more to stay true to that mentality you talk about? Uh, no, it's actually helped. Just just from the earlier years of being that way, of being that 1% better and always putting football first, it's helped me with the way I deal with my outside or off the field stuff because football is primary. It will always be primary. Everything else is secondary. and. And so I, I thank Coach Stout for the way that I think now because that's just how it was ingrained in me, you know, from the day I got here. And so, 
yeah, big hats off to Coach Stout and everyone else.